Oh, I'm recording this video for the second time because I just deleted my other video. It was quick, okay video, but it was okay, it was alright video, but full of incoherent speech and full of contemplation and anger and frustration and envy and hatred. Specifically, specific, specifically for a show called Bling Empire. And I want to title this video Bling Empire has made me reconsider all my life choices because that's exactly what it's done. Blink Empire is a show where we follow like some rich Asian socialites who are incredibly wealthy and born into wealth and trust fund babies effectively and they have incredibly opulent, extravagant, flagrant even lives and we follow these people with, who have it all and the dramas that they face in their life and so utterly mediocre and shitty. They obviously they go through the same problems we all do go through because they're humans at the end of the day but they have it in a completely different setting in way in which it becomes incre increasing like unrelatable it's quite difficult to relate to these people and it's quite shameful if anything like to see how these people have the same issues and the way they deal with it it's so almost embarrassing like, the way they go about it it's so naive and stupid and annoying no offense and they're so like on rich and out of it's so weird it's so weird it's oh, mad the way I felt about the show, especially after I finished it, was I had like immense amounts of jealousy, anger, envy, contempt, hatred on myself usually. I had all the jealousy and contempt, like the contempt was for myself, all the negative emotions were harbored towards me, all the jealousy and envy was like towards them and their opulent lives, and that's about it, and the way they go about their lives. In the, in the video before, I mentioned how, how a lot of these guys, like, they're very naive and stupid, you know, they hire like some Chinese, like, fucking, uh, read your palm type of guy, and he reads your palm and he says some shit which is vague but kind of applies to your life, and then and it was like, and it was like, oh wow, really, yeah, well, how did he know, and oh wow, that's true, etc, 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 and I just think to myself, oh, what the hell, man, they can afford, they, that guy's pretty rich as fuck. Like the guy who recently looked at Kane's house with a black sword with a feng shui type bullshit. He, he drives a Rolls Royce. He is rich. He's balling. There is rich people paying him in order to do, rich Asian people paying him to fucking do this stupid shit in their houses. And it's just, he's making serious bank of it. Here I am. I don't have a, I don't have a job. I'm looking for a job. The job options I have at the moment, I'm not sure about. What I can do is fucking make my CVs and pray to God. It's quite, how do I say this, it's quite, not necessarily stressful, it is stressful, but it's quite, you know when you like, you feel silly, you feel silly and you feel like um, ashamed for what you're doing, because it seems so stupid in comparison, and guys, I know comparison is killer all joy, however, you guys have to understand, I'm going to compare myself to these people, I'm Asian, we look somewhat similar, and because we look somewhat similar, I think like, oh, these people could like we could, these people could come back from my cousins. That's how I, this is what the thought process in my mind. And when I think about it like that, I'm like, holy shit, these people that could be related could be related to me, or they look look kind of like me. They're living infinitely better lives than me. It's kind of like a reflection of yourself. It's like a white guy seeing another white guy who's super rich, and they look like similar white guys. And he's like, that could have been me, but it isn't me. That's the best way I can describe it. It's not like some racist type shit, guys. Chill out. <laughs> Is that racist? Man, fuck this racism shit. It's killing my head. They update new races every single year, man. Keep adding new shit. Or add a new update. <laughs> the way I, I, that's the way I see it. Like the way I see it is like that, and it's quite annoying, and quite frustrating. And I can't even. I, 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 when I watch the show, like I enjoy the show. Like it's one of the only shows I legitimately enjoy, apart from like The Mandalorian. That's the only show I probably enjoy otherwise. But any, anything else is that, like, I genuinely enjoy the show, and I just think to myself, after the show has ended, holy shit, what am I doing in my life? Every single life choice I've made so far seems insignificant, seems worthless, seems pointless. Every single decision I made, pointless. Every single achievement, pointless. Every single outcome, pointless. Everything feels and is pointless in comparison to these people and their lives. And of, and of course, I know comparison is kind of all joy, but you can't help but not compare. You're human. We're human. 
we're all we're all of course going to compare. It's very fucking annoying and stressful. Jesus, man. I titled in a video, in another video that I want to upload soon. I have 50 videos. I'm just looking at here that I have to, I have to title. Um, how many gigabytes is this? 59 gigabytes. Oh, thanks me. 59 gigabytes with the videos here and oh my god I'm pissed 59 59 gigabytes worth of videos I haven't finished it and in one of them I haven't uploaded them yet I procrastinated my work and in one of the videos I say I genuinely think I found my purpose in which I describe what I want to do and what I ideally want to do and how am I going to achieve it etc etc et like huge aspirations and future goals and this isn't that and like second guessing everything and just being like fucking unsure as fuck why why am I unsure as fuck all I want is money a money and time and freedom like, I know what I want but the method and the process that I can use to get there is often questionable in all sense to me oh fuck man it's annoying I think I genuinely think I found my purpose which was like biomechanical engineering and becoming an entrepreneur okay how many entrepreneur books you read I read one then I read Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, and then I read, um, I read with the Secret of Family Happiness, it's like some Christian book, right here, Secret of Family Happiness, it was quite a good book, I can't lie, They're, it's, it's pretty based, even though there's a lot of Christian propaganda, and I don't appreciate that, because I'm not particularly Christian or religious at all, respect to the Christian religion though, really Christian faith when executed properly, but for the most part in the West, they are not executed properly, so... Anyways, I like, I say that how many entrepreneurs have I made? How many businesses have I made? How many enough? It's not even how many businesses I made. How much money have I made with my businesses? Not enough. How many books have I read? Not enough. But how much engineering? Are you learning uh, biology? No. Are you learning mechanical engineering? No. Are you learning engineering? No. Are you learning coding? No. Are you learning programming? No. Are you learning? <sighs> are you learning how you could possibly? Are you learning manufacturing how you can possibly procure pieces for your projects? No. Fuck is this? Fuck is this shit? What, what's happening? Like I said, all this shit. Okay, I want to be a boxer. Haven't been training. I recently know because my wrists are fucked. I haven't been putting ice properly on them. So if I do swing on like, a bag, it's gonna start hurting again. I don't know if the damage is permanent. I hope it. To God, it isn't. I'm about to take another cold shower, run it under cold water as well, I'm trying to make it heal. Oh, it's just such. It's so much. Anger to me. I feel. I'm quite pissed, if you can't tell. <sighs> Bling Empire has been a huge wake up call for me. But my entire life and so far has just been a series of wake up calls, wake up calls, wake up calls. And that's just really just put the nail on the on the, just just nail I hammered the nail and nail I was say nail on the hammer but it doesn't make sense it really put it really put the nail on the hammer <laughs> as if that makes sense <laughs> stupid oh man I'm so fucking jealous guys I apologize for the lack of coherent speech in this video and the lack of direction overall direction in this video I started off semi, semi strong. I kind of just tangented thereafter and talked about it wasn't my intention I hope you guys understand that I feel quite strongly about this topic because I want to be successful because I want to be free I feel quite annoyed as if I'm not worth anything I have like zero self worth as I, I pretty much you do have zero self worth especially if you're a man if you're a woman, you at least have what it looks right. If you're a man, you could be handsome as fuck, but you got no money, you got no status, you know, nothing's fun going on in your life, you're a piece of shit. 
you gotta have it all as man, right? And this is what I've seen on social media. Of course, you can still attract women. Attract girls without the need of status, money, and criminal lifestyle. It sure as hell helps. God damn it, man. It sure as hell helps. Hell helps. Men are built, not born, right? Unless you're Skylar, the son of Mimi and Don. The literal platinum spoon. And I, I said it before in the video before I deleted it, but he doesn't have a pl it's 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 kind of cheap to say that he has a platinum spoon. It's wrong to say he has a, a gold spoon in his mouth, a silver spoon in his mouth. Oh no, he it's wrong to say he has a bronze spoon in his mouth, a silver spoon in his mouth, a gold spoon in his mouth. It's kind of cheap to say if he has a platinum spoon in his mouth. This motherfucker. He's like 10, 11, 12, 13. Let me touch his age. Mimi and Don's son. They're famous as fuck, so. Skylar. Um, he's 8 years old. So he's... 9 years younger than me. And he has an infinitely better life than I do. Donald Morris, Morris Group International, that's a fucking sick name, Morris. It's cute. Unbelievable. He's eight years old. He has an Amex black card with a spoon in his mouth. An Amex black spoon. There's nothing I can really do about it other than focus on my own life. But fuck is it frustrating to see. Of course life is not, uh, it's not fair but it's, fuck bro. That is still difficult as fuck to see. Especially with Kevin as well, the advent of Kevin, um, Kane easily got a Fenty campaign without any effort at all. Kane, um, so like Kevin's gay best friend and quite a prolific character, I quite like him. He gossips way too much though, Jesus Christ. I think because he's lonely, he gossips. And I get that. Because then if you gossip, you have people around you, right? But then it's not worth it in the end because you get the reputation of a gossiper. Kane's just trying to find love. Hard to find. Um, and Kane, like, he, he me easily got a fancy campaign. Rihanna contacted him, and he easily got a fancy campaign, like just like that. And Kevin, who's trying to be a model all his life, who's friends with Kane, just sees this and is so immensely jealous you can see it on his face like he's jealous as fuck because Kevin for the last 15 years has been trying to he's 39 he's longer than that actually he was a 20 year old guy so he's lost almost two decades now 19 years he's been trying to make it as a model and it hasn't worked at all he's super handsome he's in Kevin at least he's Kevin he's super handsome he's in great shape he isn't that rich compared to the other other thing, other cast members. He's well, very well connected. He's very, has good etiquette. He's a good guy. But he just doesn't have the connections and money that Kane has. So, so when Kane easily gets a fitness campaign, he's just like struggling, and now and then he becomes a fitness coach, trying to make more money he can. It's fucking tough, man. It's fucking tough. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See me. I hope this is walking your eyes up a bit. I hope this has made you slightly jealous. Slightly frustrated. Slightly angry.
Maybe I'm me. Maybe you think I'm, I'm some delusional teenager. Good. Use that energy for something positive. And use that negative energy to have an actual tangible ROI in your life. The guys who, sp who spill shit in my comments, hate comments, I know they won't be successful in my life. Obviously, there's still nothing stopping them from putting a hate comment real quick and then going back to work. But for the most part, if they're putting in hate comments on videos, like they make one, they're making me more successful. Two, they're wasting their time. And they're probably in the YouTube death trap, just endlessly scrolling on social media. Catch you guys next one. Sue me. Oh, so yeah, am I? <laughs> you went to sleep. You went to sleep. You're so cute. Catch you guys in the next one. This is the second recording, actually. The first recording was. No, I didn't get cropped. I deleted it by accident because I'm an idiot. Catch you guys in the next video.